Hey guys, welcome back. And now we have to talk about Disney, who just pulled a racist costume from its stores. Um, the yes. actual movie that we're talking about has not just not hit theaters yet. It actually debuts in November. So let me tell you guys a little bit about the movie. Um, it's Mona, and the movie tells the story of a teenager named Mona who embarks on a sealing mission in hopes of saving her people. During the trip, she meets Maui, a demigod who helps her guide her through the Pacific. And as we can see there, the little characters are adorable. People are really looking forward to this movie. Um, it debuts in theaters like almost by, is that Thanksgiving I think it is? November 23rd. Uh -huh. But guys, this is causing controversy. It is the second Disney film set in the Pacific Islands after Lilo and Stitch that was set in Hawaii. But this is causing controversy because this little um, bodysuit with tribal tattoos and like a little oh. leaf skirt. Islander vibes. Mm. Islander vibes, but people are really, really it's upset. It's the costume on the <gasps> screen, so it's $44 to $50. Right, and it's basically a brown colored costume. Who has a crazy reaction? What are Filled what's... with tattoos. Okay, now first, before we go into all the drama, so Polynesian people are really outraged and upset, saying, hey, our skin color is not a costume. Wow. But we gotta think about this. It's Disney, it's a movie. They want kids to embrace these characters. This is the second time they're celebrating the culture. And uh, Disney has released a statement apologizing to people that were offended by it. But they also mentioned, you know, the creators took a lot of time to make sure that they respected the people's culture. Um, but yet people are still outraged well, over the skin color and the tattoos. First of all, I do wanna say that uh, for all of the Disney movies, they do release a costume. Of course. Like, this is a traditional thing. Of course. Yeah. Um, I just don't think they thought about it all the way through before they then got criticism and decided to I remove mean, it so from shelves. One question. Okay, so it is a brown skinned bodysuit, mm -hmm. right? It's a kid that doesn't have dark skin, you know, may want to look exactly like the character. If I wanted to look like Queen Elsa, I can't because I don't have blonde hair. So, I mean, Lauren can pull that costume off, but I can't. So, if I go out and buy maybe like a really light-skinned bodysuit and put a blonde wig, am I being offensive? Oh. Like, why is it always the oh. other way around? This is my thing. It's okay. not necessarily the skin color of the mm -hmm. costume that's like making me uncomfortable. It's like the tattoos because okay. that's like something associated with a culture and it has like a meaning behind it. So I get that. The skin color thing, honestly, when I was growing up, I wanted like an aerial, like a thing, like a costume right. with like the mesh being my skin color. So like okay. maybe if they had it like in different tones and that would be gotcha. I better, but I don't know. Like, you know, if you think about, okay, when's the last time Disney put out a movie where the character, we saw a lot of skin? Uh, Aladdin, Jasmine costumes, those don't have like, uh, like Jasmine a sheer skin color on okay. it. It's a top and a bottom. Like, right. why couldn't that have just been a skirt mm -hmm. and maybe it came with tattoos to put on, like temporary tattoos? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I, I guess the tattoos are. My thing is, can we see the costume uh, one more time? What happens with this costume? I think a lot of the costume is about the body and the what it embodies. So I'm thinking that I guess. It's a form of flattery. I don't think right. if you were dressing up to be somebody else, I don't think as a kid you were making fun of a person. Rather, you like the movie character so much that you want to be him, therefore it might be flattering. Yeah. Correct. So people situation. complained also that the god Maui, the character, is larger than life size and that it's sort of feeding into that stereotype that Polynesian people are bulkier and bigger and taller. So I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like Disney movies are put out there for children mm -hmm. and kids are innocent. Like you said, I feel like if they like the character and they want to dress up mm -hmm. like him, you know, I'm all for it, but as a parent, is it your responsibility to make sure that you don't instill, you know, racism in your child by allowing yeah. them to wear a sheer bodysuit that is portraying like someone of darker skin? But it's not sheer, right? It has a color. Yeah. It has color. color, so it does have. It's it's sheer, but the color of the tint is like dark, so it's supposed to make you look dark. And the tattoos now. You, I don't know how many of you guys have tattoos, but usually when you get a tattoo, it has some type of personal meaning or something well, special. For the Polynesian people, it's actually uh, attributed to religion. Yeah. So that's where that yeah. plays into too. And I was thinking of it from like a Mexican American standpoint. If people get the Virgin Mary tattooed, I'd be like, unless you're really praying to her, because that's so important to us in our culture, and it's also, okay. you know, we religiously believe in her. Yeah. So if Rylan goes off and gets it because he thinks it's cool, I think I'd, I'd be a little offended. Okay, but, you know, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. But, if a child, yeah. but if a child showed up to your door in this costume, would it ever even cross your mind to be offended? Mm. No, but I'm not Polynesian. Well, right. What's the difference between, let's say, I mean, the picture, can we see the picture of the kid wearing it? 
Um, now his skin color is, like let's say a purely white kid put this costume on and there's a big contrast between where the costume ends and their neck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are they gonna then be encouraged to kind of match and is that then... That's That'd be the, a problem. Right. Yeah. So, so what's the difference with like, okay, you put makeup on your face to mm -hmm. be another race, what's the diff? and that is a big no-no. Isn't this the exact same thing? You're putting a costume on your skin to be another race. Well, I mean, Disney did pull the costume already. You know, they played it safe. Yeah. Here are what people are saying on Twitter. Um, one supporter says, as a poly or a supporter of the Polynesian culture, um, they say, but this? No, our brown skin ink is not a costume. And another says, dear Disney, our brown brown skin is not a costume. Get out of here with this crap. Sincerely, a furious brown skinned Pacific Islander. Crap. I know there's like this thing. I know people say, People say like, oh, we're being too sensitive and everyone's too sensitive mm -hmm. nowadays. But if you're hurting someone or like someone is made uncomfortable right. by your, then just be, then get rid of it. Yeah. Like it's not being too sensitive, it's being like considerate. This right. is, mm -hmm. is like upsetting someone. Is it that important that you get to wear this costume? I don't or think just... they had the intentions to upset people when they made the costume. I don't Great. think that was the intention, but I think once it then did happen, Disney was like, oh, this is hurting people's feelings and, and we do need to remove yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Like you were saying, it's just the tattoos, but if the tattoos were removed, would you think that the different skin tone would actually be okay? Because I don't, I think no. people would still say yeah. that's cultural appropriation. And yeah. To be honest, I feel like they made, they made the little skin part to basically cover them up because then your kid's just going to be in a little leaf skirt, so they're going to be completely yeah. make it so it was just sort of to just make it like a one-piece outfit um, like you said when you go off and buy a princess Jasmine it's actually just a two-piece but if you go to the children's section there's a little sheer part in between so they're not showing their belly you know oh, and it's while sheer it's for whatever skin type right while they're underneath. exactly while there's no exact it's usually color, a white just, sheer because <laughs> I tried to be aerial when I was little yeah, and so I so if you yeah. wear a red yeah. wig on would that be cultural it just needs to be no. neutral because what am I appropriating with a red wig well I don't know but I'm just saying like I don't think, like, it's a children's costume. I don't yeah. think it's the biggest crime in the world for people to be so upset that if a child walked to my front door, I don't think I would be like, oh, you need to go home and change your costume because yeah. he's a little kid. I'm just happy Disney got rid of it. I think it's important to respect people's cultures, and if there's a complaint about it, like you were saying, or if, it, if, if anyone feels disrespected in any way, yeah. like, just why keep, like, why keep it, you know? Just get I, rid of it. I mean, I agree. I'm glad they got rid of it. But then if we if we go down the line and think of all the costumes that they've released, Elena of Avalor, the first Latina princess. Mm -hmm. I saw the costume. We're not, a, we're not a costume, are we? Latina people aren't, co like, you know what I mean? But so was it's it, like, was her skin tone? A no, because there was, and no, it wasn't. So I guess that's the issue. Yeah, it was just the little dress. And it's and the just wig. unfortunate that this movie, the main character, isn't wearing a lot of clothes to right. work with for mm -hmm. a costume. Right. Sorry, Disney, you're not going to make a lot of money off of this costume. Yeah. But hopefully, you'll make money in the box office. I'm glad they took it off. So shelves. we got to wait and see how yeah. they represent the culture in the movie without judging them yet. But for yeah. now, we're glad they removed the costume from stores. Yeah. So. All right. Let us know what you think about this in the comment section below and then you can keep watching this video just in another place. So click over to the left to get all the details on Eugenia Cooney getting criticized for being too skinny. And click to the right to get your Brangelina divorce update because we are bringing it to you.